So students, today I have with me um, former media megastar, Corinne Grant. Corinne, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. I like media megastar. <laughs> oh, let's run with that. <laughs> so, well, you, you have been a, a stand-up comic and a TV show host and a large career in the, in the media. Uh, you've now decided to give all that away and take up the law. Why yeah. so? So, I have always, I grew up in a country, I grew up in a really small country town and I think my parents instilled in me from a very early age that you part of your responsibility as a human being to your community is to give back. So as a performer, the skills I had were to MC functions and so forth and rallies and that kind of thing. And I was very passionate about uh, asylum seekers and refugees uh, from about 2000 onwards. So I could donate my time to that and MC the rallies and bring people on stage. And I got to a point where I was bringing on stage all of these amazing lawyers who'd done all of this work and actually changing things and I went, you know what, actually, I don't want to be the one who brings them on stage anymore. I want to be the person who's actually making the change. So that's, yeah, in my late 30s, <laughs> very, very late 30s, <laughs> I decided now's the time to, to actually make the switch. Well, there have actually been um, a lot of people who have gone the other way, done law and then got into comedy. People like, uh, I think, John Cleese and uh, Sean McAuliffe and even the, the Chaser Boys, yeah. um, all lawyers, uh, gone into, uh, into comedy. You're going the other way. I am. Does your um, career as a comic um, and being in the media, do you think, hold you in good stead uh, for a legal career? I think, I think being older in some ways helps as well. Because I'm not as, if I was doing this when I was 22, I think I'd be really intimidated by older, accomplished people. And you should be intimidated by people who are more accomplished than you. But uh, I've learned how to deal with that and not be overwhelmed by it. And a lot of my time in media is, you know, I've worked for or worked with a lot of really senior important people so I'm not scared of authority so much so I think in in that respect maybe it's a bit of life experience maybe it's a bit of the media training that that helps me to not be overwhelmed by the legal world. Well Corinne um, I think it's fair to say you're a you're a young adult now. I am a young adult <laughs> I, I ensured that Rob called me a young adult. So so how difficult is it to go back to uh, studies um, after having a, uh, a career in something else. How hard have you found it uh, picking up the books again? It, I, it was a rude shock for me because law, and I don't need to, to, any of your students who are watching this will go, yes, it's very hard, it's very demanding. I did an arts degree the first time around. I did an arts degree in the early 90s. It was a pretty cushy kind of degree to do. I don't think I did any exams. I think everything was just essays. Or if I did exams, I don't remember them. They were 20 years ago. So for me, doing law and what you're expected to know and the open book exams and having to walk in and like write your own open book and everything, I found very overwhelming for the first year, just trying to learn how to be uh, a student again, or kind of learn it from scratch. Plus having to work, because I have a mortgage, <laughs> so having to pay off my mortgage and work all the way through it as well, the pressure was pretty intense. And um, now that you've taken up this legal career, a new phase of your life, where do you see yourself in five years time? Five years time, you know what, I just wanna be doing, I. I just want to be doing work that I find interesting. So, and that might be in a number of different areas. I really enjoy anything to do with human rights, but I also enjoy just like basically plaintiff law. So, because for me, because my, my strong desire is to give back to the community, that sort of pushes me into the world of social justice. And that means plaintiff law, basically. Well, I, for my friends who are not lawyers, I describe it as um, battler law. So I'm there to when you know somebody who's been screwed over by government or business or something needs a lawyer and they don't know what to do. I want to be the person there to hold their hand and help them through the process. Fantastic. And and um, I guess if you had one piece of advice for uh, our students because they're watching this and they're looking at you and, and thinking, wow, I've seen her on TV. Um, I've always found her fantastically funny. Uh, now she's doing what we're doing. Um, what bit of advice would you give them? My advice would be. Uh, don't follow the herd. There's a lot of pressure on law students and I almost fell into the same thing as well when you get in there about all of the big corporate law firms and you've got to sign up for these and you've got to do the moots and you've got to do all of the things that just check with your own values and who you want to be as a person. So for me when I said I want to do social justice law that means that I picked electives that meant something to me. So figure out what your own values are 
and then find a law firm that fits your values. Don't just go out and go, I have to apply to all of these law firms because you'll wake up a year after getting in and go, I don't actually like being here. Find out who you are and then go out and find a legal job that fits with your own personality. Great advice, Corinne. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Well, there you go, students. Some great advice from Corinne. Just be true to yourself um, and make sure that you actually do something that adheres to your values. Thanks for joining me.